I'm Greg Davis and this is Taskmaster and I am the Taskmaster. A while ago I decided to ask some well-known comedians to do some extraordinary things for me. Because I am who I am, they all agree to take part instantly. And that's why we're all here now. They have no idea how each other did, but they will soon find out. I should be judging both what they did and how they did it. My word is final, but at times they will probably get really angry. <laughs> Let's meet them now. Here's a national treasure, by which I mean he's older than the others. It's Frank Skinner! <laughs> <laughs> he sounds a lot like Zippy from Rainbow. It's Josh Whittaker. <laughs> I genuinely once returned to my flat to find her in my bed, <laughs> eating biscuits and watching a documentary on cold <laughs> <laughs> It's Roisin Connerty! <laughs> He is the least experienced, but the most constantly angry of the contestants. <laughs> it's Ramesh Rangadev. <laughs> sort of a poet, sort of a comedian, sort of a hairstyle. Tim Key! <laughs> As always, I am both aided and praised by my personal assistant, Alex Horn. So, Alex, Hello. you all right? Yes. Yes. Do you, do you want to have some banter with the host? Yes. Um, you look not. He says you look. Brain, you look a little bit like a security man. <laughs> On with the show. <laughs> Tell us about the first task. Okay. So the first task, as always, uh, is the prize task. Each of the contestants tonight uh, has brought in one of their possessions for the prize haul, and whichever one you judge to be the best of those prizes will get the first point. It's supposed to genuinely mean something to them. It's supposed to be important to it's them. It's bloody important, yeah. And this time, you've asked them to bring in their most valuable item. Frank, <laughs> tell us what you brought in. Um, I bought a ring that I purchased in uh, It's a Beauty. <laughs> Lovely. It's gone very... <laughs> the price is right. <laughs> <laughs> I bought it in 2001. And um, I paid... I think I paid 600 quid for 600 pounds is hell of a start though, isn't it? Is it it's still worth 600 pounds? Well, we had it valued. It's now, uh, well, it's currently worth uh, 3,995 pounds. <laughs> no way! Oh. Yeah, yeah. Um, <laughs> oh, 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 but it's well at like 3,995. So it's basically wow. 4,000. Nearly four grand. It's a, it's a hell of an opener. And I, could, that's, I mean, to these people, that's a lot of money. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> Josh, four grand is a lot to. Yeah, beat. four grand is nothing compared to mine uh, because I have taken the ultimate gamble and I have signed a blank check. <laughs> it could be whatever the morals of the winner dictate. Well, that's you well and truly. <laughs> <laughs> I think this is also going to be one of those things that you think funny idea before the show, but it's going to backfire. I mean, no, uh, I, I don't think Frank Skinner is no, going to. No, Frank doesn't need it. But if I come to the other end, don't <laughs> <laughs> I don't need it. But I like the idea of Josh no longer having it. <laughs> What's the maximum you can do? It's twenty grand. Twenty grand. No, what? I would do twenty grand. Right. <laughs> Yeah, 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 yeah. Well, I'm just, I'm doing the most valuable. I'm putting up a check. Well, deal with it. <laughs> <laughs> no, Sheen, uh, we've already got a winner in this round. What have you brought in? <laughs> <laughs> I brought in a diamond ring. Right, now, I don't want to sully the atmosphere in this room because you and I are friends, but I know that's not a diamond ring. <laughs> How much is it worth, Roisin? Twelve pounds. <laughs> so Roisin goes instantly into last place, so that's fine. <laughs> Promise? I have put up what is easily the most valuable. Um, it's uh, a Peugeot 407. Whoa! <laughs> no way! <laughs> <laughs> is it yours? My wife gave it to me. Uh, <laughs> she doesn't know that I'm doing this. How much is Ramesh's car worth? Uh, the car is worth, currently, it's worth £590, because it's, ah, not, it's oh, not a good car. <laughs> It's not a good car and it's 14 years old. <laughs> Roisin, come to me, still in last place. Uh, Tim, what did you bring in? Um, I bought um, eight copies of my book. <laughs> How much did your book retail at? Well, I mean, when it first went on sale, we were all fairly positive. <laughs> <laughs> 
eight pound ninety nine, I think. Well, they, do you know? Yeah, they're currently on for three pound fifty on Amazon. You can get them for three pound fifty. <laughs> but these are signed, are they? I can sign them, yeah. <laughs> I signed my check. <laughs> We got any indication of how much Tim's signature would I mean, add I would, to the? I would say in total they're going to be between the twelve pounds and the car. <laughs> <laughs> um, ladies and gentlemen, the winner of that first round is Mr. Josh Widdicombe. <laughs> Which means that the leaderboard looks like this. <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, all of these prizes will be taken home by the winner tonight, and something they may come to regret. Uh, they're on display up there. Ladies and gentlemen, those are our prizes up on the balcony. <laughs> Time for the first big task, ladies and gentlemen. Task one, proper. Wow. What the... Exciting, isn't it? <laughs> oh, mate, I was a dream about stuff like this happening as a kid. Aliens sending me mail. Get this boulder as far from this place as possible. You have one hour. Your time starts now. Oh, my God. Yes, at the Taskmaster Mansion, I had a massive boulder I wanted moving. Why wouldn't I have a massive boulder I wanted moving? Let's see how Roisin Conaty handled that challenge. <laughs> Hello, I was wondering if I could um, order a curio, please. I need the one after a transit van, I reckon. Or a transit van, do you reckon I'll get that in a transit? Camba Sands. Um, bear with me one moment. Will you map it and just see how long it is? There we go. Two hours. Yeah, no, I can't. Uh, sorry, can I, can I not, can I not have it, Camber Sands? Actually, sorry, because that's two hours away. I need it to go somewhere that's an hour away. Um, can I call you back in like five minutes? You've got um, loads of time. Forty-eight minutes left. Okay, let's go inside. <laughs> <laughs> the thing is, though, even though we're recruiting, they're not going to get here in an hour. Well, not not if you don't call them. Hello, I called a moment ago about ordering a um, deliver co collection. Um, it's one sort of large item. It's a boulder. Um, <laughs> I'll call you back in two minutes and just to confirm. Is that all right? Sorry about that. Just, I needed to check uh, just to make sure that we've got the quickest time. Thank you so much. Okay. Right, bye bye. How long will they be? 45 to 60 minutes. All right, you've got 32 minutes left. <laughs> <laughs> I've just got two quick questions for you. Where is the boulder at this stage in the challenge? Still it's still in the garage. garage. <laughs> 28 minutes have passed, it's still in the garage. And my second question is, why was your first instinct to take it to Campus Sands? <laughs> been Googling Campus Sands the day before. What? Why had you been Googling it? Because I wanted a day trip. <laughs> were, you, were you taking the rock back to its natural habitat? <laughs> Let's see what the master's got in store for us in the second part of the challenge. <laughs> oh. oh dear. I've messed this up so bad. <laughs> so, after 28 minutes of debate and establishing that she would ideally like to get it to Campus Sands, <laughs> Roisin then decided to roll the boulder. That was the plan B. Alex, how far did Roisin get the uh, in an hour, she moved the boulder 300 yards. <laughs> uh, it's 200,000 yards away, so just shy of... Just shy, just shy of, of the target. Sand. I mean, I knew I'd made a mistake. I tried to act on impulse without thinking. I thought, just get a courier and yeah, get out. You're trying to act on impulse, and it was still in the garage after 28 minutes. <laughs> Amazing. I'm not a betting man, but I think we found our last place for this round. <laughs> OK, everyone, stop. We're having a break. See you in a minute for the conclusion. <laughs> Welcome back to Taskmaster. We missed you, but enough of that. On with the show. <laughs> uh, Alex, who was next? Uh, we're going to have a look at Ramesh and Frank together, because they have slightly more lateral thinking. Is there a wheelbarrow in the shed? <laughs> yeah.
can I get someone to take this for me? I'm thinking about phoning up someone. Could you search van plus driver hire? I've got Van Percy. <laughs> van Percy, no. A man with a van removal service in Chiswick. OK, so it says contact Mo. Good morning. Um, I'm trying to get a, um, a facsimile boulder onto a train. <laughs> <laughs> it's, uh, it's a boulder. Here it is. Are you Mo? Yes. Hello, Mo. Hi. Listen, I need a massive favour. I need to get that boulder as far away from here as possible. So if I put it in the back of your van, yeah. we came from that direction. So I just want you to head in ten... You've got ten minutes to get it as far away in that direction as possible. Got speed, Mo. And it's already progressing that they were moving while stinking. But he got just the luck of the draw that he got a courier. I found a lot of couriers, Alex. You know I tried a lot. Well, you found one courier and then you found them back. And then you... <laughs> oh, no, but then you found them back. <laughs> How many couriers did you try? Two or three, I think. Yeah. So on the third one, Mo, Mo came good. Yeah, but Mo, like, I'm going to be honest with you, like, Mo was a nice guy, but he was a, he was a liar. Like, he... <laughs> <laughs> he told me he was going to be five minutes. Five yeah. minutes later, I call him. He uh, says, ten minutes. I said, Mo, you get your story straight and then tell me when you're going to be here, man. And how many minutes was it? Well, he, he wheelbarrowed it for 50 minutes and then put it in a van for ten, and the other way around would have been a lot quicker. Well, yes, I know that. Is that... <laughs> Did you have to look at the iPad for that fact? <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 he listen, 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 names no, 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 he... got a career <laughs> in 50 minutes. He showed up to pick up a boulder. Do you know what he said to me? When he turned up, he said, around. You never get some crazy sh wanted me to go to Canberra Sands. Uh, <laughs> 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 Shall we see how Mo actually did? Well, yeah, well, perhaps on... you're being unfair to Mo. Perhaps he's I've... nailed this for you. I put it on a map exactly how far your boulder went, Ramesh. So you, uh, you wheelbarrowed it uh, for a mile in 50 minutes, which is quite oh, impressive. Good. That's impressive. Mo while, then, while on the phone to Mo, who then drove it for 2.4 miles. Oh Unfortunately, no. the... the, the, <laughs> oh, no. the <laughs> yeah. Well, there we go. It's not great. Do you understand why I can't deal with Mo? Before you give poor Mo any more grief than you've already given him, we, we all saw your instructions to Mo and you said, drive in that direction. So it's my fault. You'd already yeah. turned left, yeah. Just to, just to be absolutely crystal clear, all of this is your fault. <laughs> just to say uh, that Frank did actually get on the train with the bowler, didn't you, Frank? Mm. Yeah, that was commitment. A man said to me, what's that? And I said, well, it's a boulder. And he said, what's a boulder? <laughs> and he said, is it like a big rock? <laughs> and I thought that was the definition I was grasping for, so I nodded. <laughs> How far did Frank get it? Frank uh, got it 6.5 miles to Feltham, which is quite impressive. That's, uh, <laughs> so nice. Frank is the lead at this point. At this it? point, Frank is in the lead, yeah. Lovely. Should we see how Josh and Tim got on? OK. Well, I was thinking helium balloons. That's a good idea. And then it just goes... get a lot of distance. How many helium balloons would we need? <laughs> <laughs> no, we'd need a lot. And I just need to order a cab uh, as quickly as possible to arrive, and then I'll pay for them to drive for an hour west down the M4. Oh, I think this is a good idea. I think once it's up, gather momentum pretty quickly. <laughs> Can we get it? It's a shame. Man. Do you want to lift the other side and we'll just, just get it up? Yeah. Just at least get, get it started. Ready? Yep. One, two, three. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to have a crunch cream. We need to put the rock on the van. Please, can you help me put the rock on the van? Okay. Okay. 
There he is. Thank you. 27 minutes. It's exciting, isn't it? How long did you piss around with those balloons? Pissed you... around for about <laughs> half an hour, I think. No, maybe 40 minutes. Once Tim uh, stopped all with the balloons, how far did he get it in your van? Yeah, so once he put it on my van, uh, it went 2.3 miles, which is just ahead of Romish because of the problems with Mo. What I was most impressed with with you, Josh, was that you were totally unfazed and no, never at any point did you consider moving the boulder yourself. No. What, what? It's not criticism. I think you're like a general, letting other people do the work. I hate to say it, but I think I'm probably what makes Britain great. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you can see where it was after an hour. It's, uh, it's in Windsor. <laughs> wow! <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, a very clear winner of that task. A brilliant effort by all of our contestants, but the winner, very clearly, Mr Josh Widdicombe. <laughs> Alex, how are the scores looking? I've uh, updated the scoreboard. We can see it up there. Uh, Josh is well oh. in the lead at the moment. So there we go. What's the next task? We can have a look at the next task now. Grow the longest nail. You have ten weeks. Your time starts now. It's genuinely excellent news for me, because I have strangely long big toes. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. A genuinely disgusting task. Let's see how they get on after the break. Welcome back to Taskmaster. Now, before the break, we revealed that our five contestants have been competing to grow the longest nail. Frank, how'd you get on? <laughs> oh. 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 Would you like to have a look at that, Greg? I mean, I would like to have a closer look, but already from here, I'm disgusted. <laughs> oh. Oh, because you've got quite feminine hands as well, so... <laughs> well, I've never done a day's work in my life. <laughs> a trick of the camera, you actually substitute... Are you putting a picture in front of the camera of a 60-year-old woman's thumb? <laughs> <laughs> it's 2.1 centimetres Frank, long. Frank, it's 2.1 centimetres. Josh, can we see your nail? Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. Could I just say that this is probably the worst thing you're ever going to see? <laughs> Do you want to touch it? It looks like an old man's thumb has been put onto... 2.8 centimetres. <laughs> I mean, well done. Excuse me. Well, well done for living with that. <laughs> uh, how did your Roisin get on? I bit mine. <laughs> so, you... <laughs> Roisin like crashes jagged. in at last place, I would imagine. Uh, 1.8 centimetres. 1.8 centimetres for Roisin. <laughs> Romesh, what have you got for us? Let me just show you. There you go. I've decorated it. <laughs> oh, my God. Uh, it's curled over. That's supposed to be, like, a face. Why is it curled over? <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God! What is wrong with you? <laughs> <laughs> well, I, I did... Uh... <laughs> that's supposed to be a face. I, I mean... thought, like, if I put dots and, like, a smile... <sighs> A couple more weeks' growth and you're going to be able to hang from that. Would well, you mind measuring that, um, Romish? Not at all. That is just the most horrifying thing I've ever oh, seen. Oh, you, you can shut your mouth. <laughs> 2.2 centimetres. Wow. Great. Not as long as impressive. <laughs> How did Tim get on? I couldn't do this one. For religious reasons? No, but I've got, like, a... I've got a note of exemption. 
Do you want me to read it? Yes, please. To whom it may concern, Tim Key was employed as an actor in Daniel Kitson's production of Tree at the Old Vic Theatre in London. The character he portrayed was a nervous man who would bite his nails anxiously. As such, he was unable to undertake the task. Thank you, Jen. Jennifer Tate. I, I saw Tree. Yeah, I, as, I was, I was with you. Yeah. It's a fabulous play. I was enthralled, The Guardian. But... <laughs> <laughs> but you wore shoes throughout. Yes. So I you could that. have grown a toenail. You have to have, like, a backstory to the character. And so I was biting them as well. At, like... <laughs> what were you hoping was going to come out of the whole excuse note yeah. thing? Well, I thought there'd be, like, a, a general voided round. I'm not going through that to have it voided off. <laughs> Without question, the winner of that is Josh Repulsive Feet Whittaker. How's that affected the scores? Well, we're halfway, and uh, here's a scoreboard. Josh is in the lead at the moment. Oh. So there we go. <laughs> what was next? OK, let's have a look at the next task. Hello. Hello. Hello, Alex. Hello. How are you? Hello. Hello. Hi, Frank. Morning. So, how are you? Make this bed to a hotel standard while holding hands. Your time ends <laughs> when you get into the bed. Fastest wind. Hold hands now. Wait, I don't understand. We've got to make the bed holding hands. Do all three of us have to be in a chain at the whole time? Hold hands now. Your time starts now. Good to see you, Frank. Good to see you. I feel you've already got an advantage, isn't Why? it? Well, because yeah. I've, I've put my right hand out of action. You've got yours. Oh, but I'm left-handed. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> so we've got a terrible <laughs> error. <laughs> terrible error. How did we decide how to group the people together? Well, it's kind of a math thing again, that Frank and Tim, their ages, they add up to 100, <laughs> as do the three of these guys. I'm 24. Yeah. <laughs> Start with the youngsters. It doesn't matter. It's a hotel standard. You don't want we tennis court. It off. I mean, they haven't said which hotel though, because that's travel lodge all over that. <laughs> yeah. So, Ron. Yes. Yeah. And then this is got the that? Oven. Yeah. Wait, got let it. me get my corner. Ready? You got it? I've got it. Definitely got right, it. Wait, 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 wait. I can help it. Don't need to shake it. Right. Have a shake. Uh, you just said you don't need to shake. <laughs> now you want us to shake. Okay. No, you're just... <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> trying to get the pillow on! <laughs> you're just moving the sheet up and down the pillow. Wrong. The buttons are wrong. The buttons wrong are wrong. Not. They are. Why is there this loose flap here? There's a hole. Why, this is what's wrong with the world. Let's just enjoy ourselves. <laughs> Come on, Rose, put some foot <laughs> in. Right, done. Okay. Pillows. Let me swap, then you do the pillows. Let me hold Josh's. I can get them. <laughs> hold my <Lang's> eye. <laughs> right. <laughs> Wait, 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 uh, there we go. No, we want me in the middle, we want me in the middle. No, you two let go, you two let go of each other. There you go, I'm in the middle, go. No, I'm in the middle. Oh, oh are you in the middle? Yes. OK. Do you go first? Or first. Oh, OK. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> Get <out of> <laughs> Oh, my God. Say it again. Oh, uh, <laughs> I've dreamed of this moment. What do you mean? Bend your legs so we can get the duvet oh over us. <laughs> oh, no! I'm stopping the clock. Yeah. I think that was all right. That was really good going. Are you at a massive disadvantage to these no. two? No. No, no. Yeah. Yes, how, how are you at a massive because disadvantage? Because there's three people. No. Yeah. You've got a third person whose hands are both out of action yeah. and you're just dragging them along. Okay. It's, yeah, like if it's you had a three-legged race, that would be easier than a... But you're, su you're how many suggesting legs is that? that the person in the middle is a hindrance. Yes. Th they had a massive advantage having three. That's why I'm... You, be, had... you have to keep moving people around in the middle. Yeah, but you had, for a start, you had three intelligent people mm. to work on the task. Mm. Yeah. We had one. Secondly... <laughs> <laughs> secondly, wingspan is an advantage. Yeah, in case you, you want to take a quick in flight in between I, the I saw an albatross make a <laughs> bed like that in 34 seconds. <laughs> <laughs> you're almost suggesting that a crab 
would be better off without its middle section. That's exactly what I'm saying. Yeah. <laughs> Let's see how two people got on. Is this got gravel on it? Is it still made to a hotel stand? <laughs> oh, my God. This is going to be the hardest bit, isn't it? Getting under the mat. Was there a, was there a, a dog there that we didn't notice? <laughs> is that a pillar? <laughs> I've got it, I've got it. Oh, OK. <coughs> OK, yeah, you hold that. Uh, give me this hand. <laughs> <laughs> this is why conjoined twins just use those double sleeping bags. Won't be the first time I've left saliva on a hotel pillow. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there it is, there it is. Yeah, this is going to be... Look, if I take the other corner... OK, I'm going to go in here. Hang on, hang on. I'll tell yeah. you what, if you give me that no, corner no, 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 no. inside... Yeah, that would be good. This is what you need to do, isn't it? Ah, wait, 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 is it in? I think it's in. Don't let go of my hand. <laughs> OK. I don't know why you're not on the bed. Do I think me? we need to start bottling? Bottling? This is bo bottling. <laughs> oh, now we've got a language problem. <laughs> so you start bottling at that end, I'll yeah, start bottling at this I end. I can't button with just one. Can I? You can use your thigh as a bottling table. What was that phrase, Frank? You can use your thigh as a buttoning table. Thank you. That's fine, Don't isn't it? Don't be fussy, Frank. I'd be happy to walk into our hotel and see that. Are we done? Yeah. I'm not sure if you've read the task properly. Oh, oh we, we, we lie in the bed. We have to get into it. We have to get into it. <laughs> you have to get to sleep. <laughs> Stop the clock. Good night. Good night, Frank. I'm tempted to an extra point for good night, Frank. It was genuinely a lovely, <laughs> sweet moment. Uh, who did it the fastest? Let's give it to the winners based on that. Two points each for the winners, depending on who made it the fastest. They were both the high standards, as far as I'm concerned. Well, the children uh, took 16 minutes and three seconds. Incredible. The grown-ups, 10 minutes and 57 oh. seconds. Well, there you go. Fair winner. <laughs> Alex, what are the scores? OK, well, if we have a look here, you can see the leader is Mr Josh Widdicombe. <laughs> I've got this. Time for another task. How are you? Good, thanks. Make this Swedish person blush. <laughs> Make this Swedish person... <laughs> I've already got the accent. Make this Swedish person blush as deeply... Make this Swedish person blush as deeply as possible. Are you Swedish? Yeah. I love Swedes. You have ten minutes. Your time starts now. <laughs> oh my God, that's impossible. Um... Josh, my feeling is, just from that tiny little moment there, that you are the most uncomfortable with this task. It's the worst ten minutes of my life. <laughs> Let's see the tension between Josh and a Swedish man. <laughs> <laughs> What, what's the most, so, so let's talk about embarrassment then. Mm -hmm. Have you ever had sex? Yeah. <laughs> what? How do you imagine Alex Horn's naked body? Never. You've never but you are. You are now. Yeah, I am now. <laughs> yeah. So what are you picturing now? <laughs> how do you feel about the communal showers? No problem with that. No. no? <laughs> <laughs> it's quite weird because it's, it's difficult to know what. The, so, who do you, who's, who'd be your dream celebrity to bed? No idea, actually. There's no celebrities you fancy? Not really. Claudia Winkleman? I don't know. You don't know who Claudia Winkleman no. is? Um... <laughs> this is tough not to crack. <laughs> Thanks, Josh. No worries, that was the toughest task yet. <laughs> That's not helped. Oh, no. <laughs> <Hadn't it>? <laughs> 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 Do you fancy Claudia Winkleman? Let's not go into that. <laughs> well, I mean, it, they're, interest, <laughs> they're interesting frames of reference for you. Alex Horn, uh, communal showers, and, <laughs> and then the leap to Claudia Winkleman intrigued me. <laughs> I'm sweating so much now. 
<laughs> Let's see how Frank and Ramesh got on. Hello. <clears throat> Will you do whatever I ask you today? Probably not. Probably not? No. Well, what kind of things make you blush, would you say? Don't know. What about somebody speaks to you really close up like that? Don't you find that a bit strange? Your ears are completely devoid of hair. <laughs> <laughs> you like the physical contact? Oh, that's that. fine. Yeah. Don't make sure word. Fred, I'm worried that I'm getting a bit of a pot belly. What do you... what do you think? Fine. Is there a reason you're not making eye contact with me? Not really, no. I couldn't make eye contact with you. Well, we're no. getting on, aren't we? We're really getting on. I have a surprisingly bulbous vein on my private parts. But it almost exactly resembles the point where the A40 joins the A315. I once got out in a park to explain to a lady directions, and um, it led to a court case. <laughs> How does that make you feel? Yep. I mean, I've got no idea. <laughs> I mean, I'm either going to make him blush or I'm going to sleep with him. I don't know which one of the it's going to be. You know what I'm talking about, don't you? <sighs> Fred, I think, I think you might have beaten me. I've got 30 seconds to embarrass you. Here comes the nuzzle. You ready for the nuzzle? Nuzzle, 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 nuzzle. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. No I can only apologise, but that was just for the task, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But if you want to go for a drink or whatever, let me know. <laughs> yeah, I'm not proud of that. Uh, <laughs> I mean, you look proud of it. I thought we got on. Like, like I, th I really thought we did, but there's... It, what was disappointing was how little he blushed. And so the, the thing is, is that I realised that I was just touching him a lot. <laughs> and he wasn't blushing at all. And it just, I just thought, I'm just groping a dude now. I, this is not, I'm not achieving anything in the task. It was horrible. See, I thought that he was blushing, but only from the neck down. <laughs> <laughs> was anyone else surprised Frank Skinner's got the belly of a 15-year-old boy? <laughs> Powerful homoeroticism. I really enjoyed it. Be interesting to see if a poet comes in at a different angle. Let's have a look at Tim. Say something in Swedish. Yeah, I'm Svensk. I practice Svensk. Um, can you say something else? Okay, can you say it in Swedish? This is my apartment. That I am in Lagnet. Make yourself comfortable. Here I become. I'm going to pour us both. Some sherry. Scam, hello, plate sherry. I want to say, I like. <laughs> <laughs> Can you say, um, I like to. Hang <laughs> 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 on. Let me get this one. <clears throat> um, I like to parade around in my little denim shorts. <laughs> Are you blushing? Say, um, when I get half a chance, I like to parade around in my little ble little denim jeans, waving. När jag får chansen så tycker jag om att gå omkring i mina blåa shorts och vinka. Have you ever been handcuffed? No. You ever been whipped? No. Smothered in chocolate? No. Licked? No. Kicked? No. Kissed? No. Look at me. Yes. Don't look at my lips. I wish I'd kissed him. <laughs> if I had my chance again, just go and just blow on his lips. But actually, looking at it, I think he was blushing. I'll just write that down. If I'd had my chance again, I would have blown on his lips. <laughs> yeah, it's a strange regret to have. Really, thank you. Let's see if the uh, woman in the group took a different approach. Have you ever met anyone with three breasts? No. Would you like to see someone with three breasts? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> What about four? Is that too many? <coughs> yeah, that's too much. <laughs> Three is okay. Though. Three is okay. Though. Four out of the question. OK, 
Okay. What about if you put your head in between your legs? Not for dirty reasons, just to <laughs> colour it up. Yeah. Get a flush going. So four breasts is too much? Yeah. Three is sufficient? Yeah. Where would you have the third? In the middle or around the back? <laughs> in the middle. All right. Same size or just a mini one? Oh, why not a mini one? <laughs> yeah. Yep, I'm getting there. Whoa. <laughs> Thank you. I think that's I'm gonna go with that as my finished. Don't be stopping with four minutes to go, which is That's fine. Thank you very much, Frederick. You Thank went you. very it was very good, very red. <laughs> Roshi was the only person who thought to physically make him go red by applying science in a way. <laughs> and I'm glad you thought of that, because I would argue that without that. <laughs> Mentioning a withered back breast might not have... <laughs> may not have done it. I was trying to unnerve him. I don't want to be sexual. I'm not really good at being sexual, sexy. So I was just trying to unnerve him, just make him feel like, oh, I don't know what she's going to say. Yeah, like you've got a mini tit on your back. <laughs> <laughs> I want him to look worried that I might sort of get, a, you know, back boob out. Thank God you use science. I suspect you may have nailed this, but Alex... Yeah, we can see. I mean, Roche, blush chart. Roshin did make him go the reddest. Uh, Josh got him to Jasmine Shimmer. <laughs> then it's Cherry Blossom for Tim, uh, Fantasy Rose for Frank, Puce for Ramesh, and uh, Ballet Slipper sa slash Sangria from Roshin. Those are, those are the exact bits, so uh, Roshin wins. So the, the winner is old oh, knee-back tip comedy. <laughs> Remember, someone is walking out of here with a cheque for probably £20,000 and a ring worth almost £4,000 and a cheat ring. <laughs> <laughs> See you after the break for the final part of the show and the final tap. <laughs> Welcome back to Taskmaster, where one of these comedians will be driving home in Ramesh's absolutely rubbish car. Alex, <laughs> who's in the lead so far? OK, so uh, Josh and Frank have both got 16 points. <laughs> Some of our comics can't win now, but very much playing for pride. But should we get Roisin to read out the task? Why not? Do you mind reading that out? Uh... I'd rather reduce admin. <laughs> <laughs> it's, just, <laughs> yes. it's just to make you feel a bit more special. Right. Blow up the biggest balloon whilst blindfolded. You have 100 seconds and one balloon. Oh, simple task. It's a good task. So, you've got exactly 100 seconds to blow the biggest balloon you can from the moment that Alex blows the whistle. Yeah, there are a couple of things. You only have one balloon. At the end of the 100 seconds, uh, the balloon must be tied. And if the balloon does burst, it won't be the biggest bubble. I'm absolutely terrified of blowing up balloons. <laughs> you idiot. So, it's time to... Um... <laughs> Can I say, we are tightly locked in the lead, yeah. and he's asthmatic and he's frightened of balloons. <laughs> I'm feeling good. Are you more or less frightened of balloons than physical contact with another man? <laughs> oh, I'd prefer contact with another man to... Hold on, do we have a choice now? I didn't, you didn't say that before. <laughs> <laughs> and do we have to tie the end? I have physical contact. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, should we start? So, if you want to don your blindfolds now, please. <coughs> Balloons being handed out. Can you hold now. out your hand? Can I ask, is this upside down? <laughs> no, that's all right. You're fine. You're good. <laughs> okay, there's your balloon. If you drop a Swedish guy's testes into my hand, I'm going to. Just to remind you, you must tie the balloon at the end and then hold it in front of you with the knot down. Can I just oh. check everyone else is still here? <laughs> Why don't you put your hand out behind Roisin and see if you can feel a little breast, then you'll know. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm loving this. <laughs> Start the competition. <laughs> oh, lovely. Come on. Terrified. <laughs> <laughs> You've got to keep your 
nerve. How many seconds left, Alex? They have 40 seconds left. 40 seconds. You must tie the balloon. Frank is tying. Frank is tying. It's very early to be tying. You've got 25 seconds left. 25 seconds left. They are struggling with the balloons. <laughs> stop, stop it. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. What's stop happening? It. You've got 10 seconds. <laughs> 10 seconds. Four, three. One big last two, cheer. 10 seconds left. One. You must hold the balloon at the other side now. I'll just... That's fine. <laughs> and that was just... That was one of the most terrifying things that's ever happened to me. <laughs> you may now take your blindfold off. Oh, well, I've had a nightmare. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's safe to say Whittaker has blown his lead. <laughs> <laughs> Lou, can you all retake the chairs, please? Ladies and gentlemen, the balloon blowers. Uh, welcome back. Incredibly tense balloon task. Alex, who won the task? In a lovely way, Roisin won the task. She won the honour back, so well done, Roisin. Roisin Party. <laughs> yeah. Well done. Mate. Thank you. Excellent. Really, really nice balloon blowing. Mm. Thank and I was quite, was quite patronising when I said that, but I didn't mean to. I was just pleased for your honour. It's because you've done so badly in all the others. That's what I'm... Yeah, yeah. Uh, Tim came second, uh, although Tim uh, didn't tie the balloon during the 100 seconds. <gasps> oh. oh, dear. That is a shame. Sorry, so what, so what happens there? That means you don't get any points in that round. Yeah. Josh Whittacombe <laughs> came last for the tiny little balloon. Well, of course he did. Did you see the size of it? I, I was hoping that I'd be the only one that didn't pop. Romesh came second last, and Frank Skinner came third. Wow. But let's see how that has affected the final scores because someone is going home with a car, a ring, and a whole lot of money. <laughs> Alex, can you reveal the final scores? Okay, here this we week? go. Ladies and gentlemen, the winner of Taskmaster, Mr. Frank Skinner. How do you feel? Uh, fantastic. Is the car still registered in your name? Yeah. Maybe I'll uh, do a hit and run on the way home. <laughs> I mean, why, why wouldn't you? <laughs> well, thank you, everyone, especially to you, Alex. Thank you. Um, that's what it says. <laughs> and, Frank Skinner will now go and collect his prizes. There you go, that's the end of the show. Thank you for watching. Don't forget, the humblest of tasks get beautified if loving hands do them. Never forget that. Good night and well done, Mr Frank Skinner! Subscribe now.